Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Getting some weird weather today. It's like 60 degrees out right now, and it's raining. Well, it's trying to rain. It rained a little this morning. There's a big storm just west of us. We're supposed to get like 30 to 40 mile an hour winds a little later, and then the temperature is just going to plummet. And they're even talking about maybe some snow. But anyways, it wasn't a good day to work over at the property, so I've got an idea that I've been kicking around for a long time. Uh, my thought is, you know, everybody's having a hard time dumping their cages. Um, and it's really, this whole thing has evolved, I guess, five or six years ago. You know, Mike Morgan put out a, uh, the, he was the first guy kind of to put it on the map as far as using these things for your firewood. And you can go back and watch the videos. Um, the problem that we everyone's always had was, you know, dumping the wood into a trailer. Um you can only dump them so far and then you got to kind of shake them and you got to have them strapped to the tractor or the skid steer or whatever um everybody's seen it uh, anybody that's been into the firewood stuff and is on youtube has seen it it's a million videos out there on it um but it's kind of evolved so it's it's kind of interesting so we went from a regular cage to a cage with the face cut out um and then now the latest trend i guess is to cut it down here and leave the face completely open right here so that when you dump it'll slide out from the bottom and leaving this top rail here to give it the rigidity that it needs when you put a uh, load inside of it so that's kind of where uh where we're at right now um mike morgan's kind of been the pioneer in, in all this um and then there's another channel called Hard Working Man. So you need to watch those two. Uh, just go back just a couple weeks and you'll, you'll find them on there about the modifications. It's kind of, everybody's getting really close. Uh, the Hard Working Man channel, he takes the piece from here and cuts it off. And then flips it over, smashes the ends down and bolts it right here so that you don't hit your head on it when you're trying to, when you're, when you're trying to load it which is which is nice so i think i think the best that we have right now is um you know a fully open face and then having that bar maybe you know up here uh giving us some support and you can go back and watch those videos i haven't done this cage like this yet um i've already cut the front out of this one and i only cut it down just a couple just so i could reach in there so in the latest video from hard working man he kind of takes mike's idea puts his own twist on it and then he uses a couple chains from his log splitter they have a it's kind of a safety hook on them and that works out well it works out well but i think what i've got might be one step better to where you don't ever have to get off the machine and so my thought is is to weld a hook or two on the forks so that when you come up when you go under the skid with your forks and you lift up that hook grabs one of these bars then you never have to get out of the seat you can go and get your tote lift it up dump it drop it back down and when you drop the forks back down that hook just comes out the bottom so i'm going to do a little welding today and we're going to do a little testing and uh let's see if this thing works hopefully this will be the last video we ever have to have on ibc totes for firewood this tote is up in the air right now i've got it lifted off the ground about oh about an inch or two not much so my thought is to do something like that and then when you drop it back down when you set it back on the ground there's about that much um where the forks can drop back down to rest on the ground so you can slide out um and i'm thinking that that distance is going to be greater than this distance so um this should drop down and pull right out the only thing i'm not sure about is if these are all a universal height that'll be interesting to find out okay so now it's in the down position so i want it to be when i'm dropped down i want it to be below that bar right there so i can get my forks out and I'm going to make a couple marks here. I'm going to do a little grinding, get this thing ready, and I'm going to put a couple tacks on there just to see if it's going to work for us.
not sure if that's grounded good enough or not. We'll see. I could move this tow out of my way, but my garage is only 24 feet deep, so I'm just going to reach in here and do this real quick. I think that's about right. Is it gonna clear? Oh yeah. Let me put a tack on that other side so it's twisted when I Alright. Let's see what we got guys. We need some firewood in the house, so I'm going to go dump this on the side patio. Now, it's not going to dump as good as it would if the face was cut out of it, but I just want to see how it, how that hook hangs onto it. There it goes. Might want two hooks. Yeah, I'm going to want a second hook on it. Yep. Second hook for sure. All right, so we got to just make a quick modification here. And I think while I'm in the garage, I'm going to go ahead and cut the face of this out um, the way everyone's doing it now. I just was in a hurry to see if that hook, at least my weld held. It's pretty exciting. It actually worked the way I planned. Now I'm going to have to weld another one over here on this side somehow, which is, might be a problem because I might end up having to put a plate behind there or something. Um, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. All right, well, I guess while we're in here, I'm going to take and cut the, cut the uh, front of this cage out, make it that much easier. And then we'll weld another hook. I have two hooks just because I thought that was going to be the way that went. So now I guess what I'll do is I'll cut one of these off and put it over the top. And then we'll have what I was trying to explain earlier. Then we can weld the other hook on there and then see how all that works. Uh, I got what we needed out of that. Alright, so this is what I was talking about before. I cut the face of this out. Now it doesn't have much rigidity. So... Outdoors with the Morgans video did this part. Okay, took this, took the front out. Hard working man's video. Put this on here like this to stiffen it up. And that way, when you're reaching, when you're trying to fill it, you're not hitting your head on this bar that's hanging out here like this. So I took took this off of the face, just scrap piece. So I flattened these ends down here. I just hammered them down on the concrete. Now I'm going to put it here. I'm going to try and run some uh, self-tapping screws through here. I think it's probably better to drill a hole and put a bolt through there. But this is what I have right now. So hopefully this works.
Yeah, it seemed to work. It's not too bad right now anyway, because it's only half full. So it's not like it's, but that'll stiffen it up. There we go. That's on there now. All right. Now to get that other hook on there, I have to do some grinding. I'd like it to be more centered, but I don't have any metal here. Really, I don't want to weld everything to that. I want to. That's on there. I wasn't coming off. I had a whole, a half a tote full of wood lifted up in the air on that thing. But I want to get this on some metal, like right over in here, maybe. Oops. Battery on it. Works better with a battery. It's a lot lighter without one, but it doesn't work as good. Four inches. See, I don't have much to weld to there. They have a um, weldable hook on Amazon or probably at a hardware store that has a flat back on it. It's made for welding on top of buckets and stuff. But I'm using what I have. Pouring to get all that paint off of there. I'm not that good of a welder, but every little bit of help that I can get, I take. All right, so that looks about right, right there. All right, now for the fun part. Twisted on me. Just trying to get it back straight. Thought that was gonna happen. I had to run in town and get some wire because the wire I had was not flux wire, it was regular solid, and I don't have gas, so I had the wrong wire. All right, here we go. I ain't coming off of there. There we go. I was about six inches short on my wire. <laughs> Story of my life. They're not centered, but that's, you know, that's all I had to work with. 
ideally, I think a guy could build a plate like a it would come up, wrap around, go down, and could have some adjustments on there with two hooks on it, and then have a clamp on the back, a, a bolt that you just screw tight against the back of this. You know, because everybody's got a different set of forks, but that might work better, but this is just for for my use. So, let's see how it works. So the weatherman wasn't wrong. A little storm came in last night. Yesterday it was 60 degrees.